Coyote. I have to get home in time for the news. They're running a story on my favorite topic, me. Oh, I just realized two bad things. One, we're not going to make it in time. And two, I don't wear a watch. The whole town is talking huh? about the Caped Avenger. Wait, that's the story. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, hi. Hello. Uh, Watching uh, this. And the mysterious feline vigilante known as the Caped Avenger has become an instant celebrity. Ever since his first dramatic appearance at this comic book store only weeks ago, this video of him capturing a thief has gone viral and is now the second most popular cat video on the internet. The most popular, this video entitled The Cutest Cat in the Whole World. Meow, 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 Huh? What happened to the TV? I think your singing killed it. <sighs> well, now we'll never hear the end of that news report. What? Rupert Dorff runs the comic book shop where the Caped Avenger appeared. How's business, Rupert? Great, people are flocking here, hoping to see him in person, and tomorrow the new Caped Avenger action figures arrive. <laughs> 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 I wonder who the Cape Avenger really is. <laughs> Shh! Don't give away my secret identity. Do you have a message for the Cape Avenger in case he's watching? Yeah, I hope he'll come to see all his fans tomorrow when his action figure goes on sale. I even built this Cape Avenger signal to call him. Wow! That is so cool. <laughs> Well, I think the Cape Avenger is a big show off. Uh. I gotta get me one of those spotlights. <laughs> I guess the Cape Avengers fans love everything about him. Yeah, but you know what they really like? They'd all wish he would have a sidekick. The sidekick? <laughs> <laughs> He's right. All the great comic book heroes have sidekicks. Even Ultra Powerful Man gets help from Jeff the Atomic Sparrow. Gee, where could I find a sidekick? Mm. He'd have to be strong. And serious. But with a sense of humor. Odie, you've given me a great idea. Yes, I'm going to hold auditions. Really, Myron? Auditions? That's what I'm hearing. The Cape Avenger will be at the park having trials to be his sidekick. I'm going to go see if he'll pick me. Oh, oh if the Cape Avenger gets a sidekick, he'll become more popular. His video might even be more watched than mine. What am I going to do? Well, I think we're going to make a Look, up there! Yes, it is I. Too good to be true. Too strong to be beaten. Huh? Too fat to be on this branch. It's not me, it's the cape. It adds about 10 pounds. Ouch! Hello, aspiring sidekicks. I suppose you all know who I am. You're the Cape Avenger! Avenger, Avenger, Avenger! Yes, and I am here today to find a faithful sidekick to assist me in my heroic activities. Well, I didn't have to go to the Choose me! Choose me! A super chihuahua. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I can be a superhero! Stop laughing at me! <laughs> Now then, being a superhero isn't easy. You spend your days chasing dangerous criminals, falling from buildings, dodging atomic ray blasts. You spend your nights risking your life and limb every second. Oh, it gladdens my heart to see so many of you willing, even eager to put your lives on the line. Hey, uh, what is this job pay? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. Bye. Huh? Well, no, you're not sidekick material. Goodbye. And don't bother leaving a picture or resume. Why is the Kate Avenger so pop? 
popular. Just because he's got a cool costume and a cool name. I can't wait to get that what? Cape Avenger action figure tomorrow. Let's go watch his video ten more times. He is like so cool. And I am like so sick of that video of the disgustingly cute kitten. Oh, what am I gonna do? I know. The only one who could beat a superhero is a super villain. I'll become a super villain. <laughs> hey, Hercules. Why so glum? Oh, they all laughed at my beautiful costume. I just wanted to be the Cape Avenger sidekick. Hmm. How would you like to be the sidekick to the super villain who will defeat the Cape Avenger? Oh, do I get to wear my superhero costume? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm closing up for the night, Gunther. I'm expecting a big crowd tomorrow. The Cape Avenger action figure's arriving on... Hold it later, Gunther. There's something outside I gotta go investigate. Are you still upset I didn't pick you? I need a great sidekick. The Cape Adventure can't look foolish. The Cape Adventure is looking pretty foolish huh? today. What? Rupert, you say the Cape Adventure has a new arch enemy. It seems that way. I spotted them outside my store. And when I checked the Cape Adventure signal I made, this is what I found. Huh? <gasps> the Cape Adventure signal. It makes me look ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> uh, Odie, I have to find that super villain and stop him. Now is when I really need a sidekick. Will you be my sidekick? Oh, please, please. All right, all right. I shouldn't have turned you down yesterday. We'll get you a great costume. <laughs> Good. Let's leap into action. And people are lined up for blocks awaiting the arrival of the new Cape Avenger action figures. <laughs> the action figures seem to be arriving now. Perfect timing. This is going to be a great day for my comic book store. Plenty cases of Cape Avenger action figures. Sign here. Yeah. You deal with the mailman, Super Chihuahua. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, the only thing worse than a Chihuahua, a masked Super Chihuahua. I'm getting rid of all these Cape Avenger action figures. Oh. oh, no, you're not. Yay! It's the Cape Avenger! Avenger, Avenger! Whoever you are, you're no match for me and my faithful sidekick, Swerp. And he seems to finally have his very own sidekick. Oh, the Cape Avenger! And now he has a partner. I just decided I don't want to be a supervillain sidekick any longer. Adios! <laughs> Nothing will stop me from getting away with these action figures. Except maybe the fact that I don't know how to drive. Hmm. Oh, what if I push this? Come back, you masked fiend. <laughs> maybe this wasn't the best idea in the world. Hey! <laughs> How about if this van crashes into the trash collection center? And I suppose I have to save you too. Help! Help! 
No! No, this is not a cute way for me to go! Quick! Get a shot of that! And the superhero and supervillain landed amidst the crates of the caped Avenger action figures, which, as it turned out, no one wanted to buy. All interested shifted to the caped Avenger's sidekick we caught on tape. We're told his name is Slurp, and his fans can't get enough of him. His online video is now the most watched ever, beating out that one of the sickening singing kitten and the one of the caped Avenger. <laughs> Well, Cape Avenger may not care about being in first place, but I do. I'm taking my act to the streets. Want to join me? <laughs> sure. Why not? Meow, 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 Sauce. Other people put themselves to sleep by counting sheep. I count pizza toppings. I see pineapple, more sausage. Huh? The mailman's here? Mm-hmm. Thanks for the alert, boy, but I've decided to take the afternoon off. No mailman annoying for me today. Extra cheese, extra, extra cheese, extra, extra, extra cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, Agnes, the house with the cat. I'm delivering there now. If I don't see you again, remember I loved you. Hold on. This is the dangerous part where I push the doorbell. <laughs> I'll get it! Agnes, I may be okay. I hear Mr. Arbuckle coming. Hello, Mr. Arbuckle. I have some letters for... Ah! Mr. Arbuckle, what are you doing scaring me like that? Huh? Huh? Oh. John's taking up mine. You don't know what mime is? I figured you wouldn't. Here, I had them prepare this brief educational video to explain it. Mime is an ancient form of acting that does not use words or speech and which dates back to ancient Greece in the 5th century BC. It is an art in which you convey a message through your actions and expression. A mime never speaks directly to the audience. Instead, he or she relies on the power of imagination. Now, take a cue from John and don't say anything for the next week or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me guess. You got fed up with the cat and you're running away to join the circus. What? Do I want a cup of coffee? Yes! You got it exactly right! Oh, man, I'm good! I'm really good! 
I've been taking mime classes for the last three months, and now I'm testing my miming abilities on people. Ah, well, here's your mail. Is that a bill from the Prime Rib of the Month Club? I don't want us getting kicked out. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Arbuckle, our mime school has elected you Student of the Year. What? We have chosen you to represent us at the World Mime Championship that will take place in Paris, France, home of the greatest mimes of all time. Garfield, Odie, I'm going to go to France and win this contest as the world's greatest mime. <laughs> And to really get in practice, I'm going to live my life in mime. I won't say another word until the competition. Not sure why, Odie, but I have a feeling we're in big trouble. He's miming everything. He's doing an imaginary drawing with an imaginary pencil. And guess what? At the end of the week, John's boss is gonna send him an imaginary paycheck. <laughs> and now he's making us an imaginary dinner. Huh? Oh, great. Imaginary lasagna again. Oh. We haven't had a meal with actual food in it for days. Oh. Does he think anyone would be stupid enough to go along with this? Enough already! Your cat is fed up with not being fed up. Odie. Give me the menu for Vito's. Here. That's right. Dial a phone. I'd do it myself, but I'm too weak from hunger. Vito's Pizzeria. Vito speaking. How may I help you? Uh, hello? Is uh, anybody there? <laughs> I guess there's no one there. Oh. Fortunately, I planned for an emergency of this sort. <laughs> A few months ago, I recorded one of John's better orders. Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. How may I help you? Vito, this is John Arbuckle. Please send me enough food to feed my cat. Ah, Senor Arbuckle! I will be right over as soon as I can borrow a large truck. <laughs> Problem solved. Mm. Huh? Buongiorno. Here is your bill, Senior Arbuckle. Hurry, hurry. Pay him in large bills, it's faster. <sighs> Uh. He's paying him in imaginary money. Uh, please, uh, Senor Arbuckle, pay me for the food so I can get back to my restaurant. Eh? Ah. Is that supposed to be the tip? I do not know what kind of silly joke you're playing, but Peter will not put up with it. If you do not pay, you do not get my wonderful food. Oh. No, wait, wait. Can't you take an imaginary credit card or something? <laughs> if John doesn't give up this mime stuff, he's gonna have a couple of imaginary pets. <laughs> John's mowing the front lawn with an imaginary lawnmower. There you are, John Arbuckle. Where have you been for the last two weeks? Why haven't you been answering your phone? I keep calling here and someone answers, but no one ever says anything. Oh, 
Student of the Year, World Mime Championship? You've been studying mime? You're going to France for this contest? Well, good luck. Who's your partner? Ah, your partner. It says here, all contestants must be duets. Two mimes in a team. You didn't read the back of the letter? You don't have a partner? And the contest is day after tomorrow. Where are you going to find a partner who can do great mime? <laughs> oh, no, not me. No chance. No way. I don't think Garfield wants to do it, and that's too bad, huh? Would have been nice to win that big cash prize. Yeah, big cash prize. I guess you didn't read this part. It says the winner receives... Oh, wow. That's enough money to keep Garfield in lasagna for a year. Excuse me one moment, please. Looks like you've got yourself a partner. How long have they been like this? One hour and thirty-seven minutes. Oh, what is the name of their act again? The meaning of life. <laughs> life is apparently very boring. The next contestant is Jean Arbuckle and his cat Garfield. They will perform the famous mirror sketch. Let us give them the trophy right now. Congratulations! You are the winners! The finest mimes in all the world! You shall receive the large cash prize! Wow! Thanks a bunch! <gasps> he, he spoke! Contestants are not allowed to speak! The rules are quite strict. If you speak, and you did, you are disqualified. D -d -d Disqualified? Oh. Oh, oh, no large cash prize for you. Ushers, remove them from the stage at once. No, that's not fair. I only spoke after the performance. That doesn't count. I protest. I protest. When I need him to order pasta, he doesn't say a word. Now he talks. mysterious creature in this country is known as the Zabadoo. You think there really is a creature like the Zabadoo? I never saw him again. Do you think your friend
friend could still be alive? You gotta go rescue that poor guy. Me? I've arranged for a local guide to drive us there. Her name is Angie. The Zabadoo's mine, you got that? Odie, no! Don't go near it! John, great to see you. I thought for sure I was a goner. But then, the oddest thing happened. The Zabadoo picked me up and carried me off. It carried me to this cabin, the one we're all in right now. It took me in here and bandaged my leg. And then, Whoa. just when I thought things couldn't get any weirder, it spoke to me. I set your broken leg. You're fortunate I used to be a doctor. The Zabadoo used to be a doctor? No, a doctor used to be the Zabadoo. His name was Sam, and he was a retired sergeant. Years ago, he came to this area on vacation. In fact, he was a hunter, but he didn't like that some hunters were hunting where they weren't supposed to. Oh! There's this local legend about a creature called the Zabadoo. I never believed for a minute there was such a creature, but I, I figured it... You figured if you made yourself a costume and dressed up as the Zabadoo... I could scare them off, right? And that's what he did. He made a costume, and any time a hunter ventured where he wasn't supposed to... Ooh. Ah! 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 It's the Zabadoo! I'm sorry, Mr. Zabadoo! I'll never hunt in this area again! I thought it was a great idea, and the animals around here liked it too. He was such a wonderful man. I stayed around to help him out. When Sam passed away, I took it over. His cabin, his costume, his mission. That's wonderful, Lyman. A great thing you're doing, my friend. <laughs> Here, I'll help you out. Blow that thing you call a nose. Good. I'm gonna go out to see if there's any lunch left in Angie's vehicle. Wanna come with me? Didn't come with me. <laughs> So noble of you, protecting all these endangered animals. You make a great Zabadoo. Here, you didn't see the whole routine. I'm on constant patrol. And when I see a hunter where he shouldn't be... <laughs> <laughs> boogie boogie. <laughs> 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 I got it, Buckley. I got photographic proof that the Zabadoo is a big fraud. If you publish that, you'll ruin the guy's whole routine here helping the animals. Yeah, but these pictures will be worth a fortune to that TV show. And besides, who cares about a lot of stupid animals anyway? Easy, boy. Hey, Mark, let me alone! Hey, Cat, you can give me back that camera. Nope, I don't think I'll do that. We've got to catch that cat. The photos in that camera are worth a fortune. Get off me, Mark! What is it, boy? He won't get away from us. I'm determined. I'm willing to put your life on the line. You think so, Dick? That vehicle, it belongs to Dirk Dinkum. It looks like Odie wants us to follow him. Looks like there's a detour up ahead. The blood must have gone into that cave. <laughs> We've got him trapped. Got him! Good work, mate. Where's the camera? This is great. Just great. <laughs> oh, this is great. Just great. <sighs> I'll take my camera back, cat. <laughs> Another stupid animal always causing trouble. Another stupid animal always causing trouble. Hmm. You know what I've got a hankering for? Rotisserie Mockingbird. Bye now. I really don't oh. like this guy. <laughs> hey, animals ain't so bad, Dinkle. Shut up, Buckley. Animals are only good for two things. Wearing them and eating them. 
Once I expose this Zabadoo hoax, I may come back here and bag me a couple of those, uh, what you call them? Endangered species. <laughs> And you're not going to be fooling me with that hokey routine. <laughs> All right, you can take off that ratty costume, fella. No, that's not the guy in the ratty costume. That's the guy in the ratty costume. Hi, Pinkham. How's it going? Well, now we know why he's called the Zabadoo. Wait for me, mate! We all thought it was just a legend. And it turns out there's a real Zabadoo. Gee, he's not bad in the role. I don't think they'll be needing this. <laughs> because neither of them will ever tell anyone about what happened here. The Zabadoo? He's out of here. His job's done. I guess he's like Vito the pizza maker. Yeah, he shows up when he's really, really needed. <laughs> John, I can't thank you and Garfield enough. I want to spend the rest of my life helping the animals here, and you made that possible. Plus, you brought Odie back to me. Oh. Huh? Uh, you're... Oh. You're keeping Odie here? Well, of course. Huh? He's my dog. Yes. Yes, he is. John, you can't let... I mean... You... Here, Odie. Say farewell to your friend Garfield. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it, too. But hey, you're back with your buddy Lyman. That's pretty good, huh? I guess we'll see you around, fella. If I'm going to get you to your plane in time, let me just say goodbye to Odie. I know you'll miss them. But think of all the great fun you and I are going to have together. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Angie. I wouldn't have missed it for anything, John. You're a good man. <clears throat> Meow. And cat. Mm. Oh. Stay in touch. Please, don't look so unhappy, Garfield. The two of you are going home. Yeah, that's the problem. It's the two of us. I'm going to go upstairs and unpack. Hey, Garfield, how'd it go? Did you find Lyman? Is he all right? Yes, we found Lyman. Yes, he's all right. Oh, that's great. So, so why are you so glum? You look like you lost your best friend. Hey, where's Odie? Odie? I don't know any Odie. When the days are short. Wow. Garfield, dinner's ready. It is not time to stay alone and despair. Gather with ones you love and care. Care share don't despair your parents and your friends anyone dear care and share it's time now to make peace and forgive care and share 
must really miss him. Well, I do too, but we have to get over it. This is probably the mailman with all the mail I had them hold while we were gone. Lyman! John, great to see you. You haven't changed a bit, I'm sorry to say. Neither of you. And I'm even sorrier than ever about that. What are you doing? You left that? something important in Franistan, and I thought I'd retain it in person. Here. Hody! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good to have you back. <laughs> Is that? Uh, no. I thought I heard. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> what? Huh? I just have to face reality, Odie. You're gone for good, and I'll never see you again. Is this another fantasy sequence? I looked at Odie's face, heard him sign, and I thought, he doesn't belong with oh. me. Sure, I used to own him, but now you own him. Garfield has no appetite. Garfield, not eating. Oh, that's serious. Well, looks like I've saved two more animals. Speaking of which, I have to get back to Franistan. You can't stay? Wish I could. Tell you what. One of these days, I'll hire a temporary Zabadoo to fill in for me so I can come back for a real visit. I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. So, Garfield and Odie are back together oh. again. You think it's just like it used to be? <laughs> there you go, boy. Go fetch a stick. <laughs> oh, that's great, Odie. Here it goes again, boy. Fetch the stick. Fetch the stick. <laughs> No, tomorrow it'll be just like it used to be. Right now, it's even better. Okay, here comes a big one now. Go fetch a stick. Go, boy. <laughs>